everyone! Welcome back to Creatively Crafted Life. This is Melanie in the craft room with day 30. Second lap to last. Here we go. Uh, so today the story is about a hike I did with my friend Pat and we went to Griffith Park and did a little walking and had some pretty good views of downtown Los Angeles. And it was a beautiful day and the title of the layout or the song lyric for today is I feel joy here on this winter walk it's not at least I've never heard of this song Christmas song before or maybe it's not even a Christmas song maybe it's just more a song that has the word inter winter in it but that's what I'm going with so I do have this photo um, it's early morning you know probably about eight o'clock ish um, of the downtown LA area and I started the title with I feel and then I'm going to add joy and then winter walk. I think I'm going to use these hip kit stickers, letter stickers, alpha stickers, okay? And I trimmed this out thinking it was a six by eight page that I need, which is true, but I forgot that the day 29 was outside the pocket. So I've got this little gap and I really don't feel like printing the photo again so I'm gonna try and be creative and come up, come up with something to fill this in. I'm not sure what yet but I will come up with something. Um, and then I had planned for the opposite side another 6x8 uh, photo um, in the pocket so that's the other thing to keep in mind that I'm gonna work on and what I thought I would do there is add this selfie of myself and use a combination of this wood grain from Felicity Jane and this um, blue snowflake paper from um, the Sweater Weather Collection from American Crafts. I could also use the other side. Hmm. May use the other side. Not too sure about that one. So anyways, I'm going to play around with some sort of combination of that and see how that works. And the numbers that I have are these really large Studio Calico numbers again, so for 30. And originally I thought I could put that on this photo here. And while it does fit, it, it really does eat up most of the skyline. So I don't think I like that. So I think I'm going to somehow incorporate that on this side of the photo. And if they are just too big, I'll go back into my stash and find something a little bit smaller. I'm going to do some really simple journaling, probably right on this wood grain paper, and just call that done. Um, embellishments, I'm hoping to keep it pretty simple. I'm kind of liking the floral elements from the Remarks um, line of stickers from American Crafts. And there's a few little pieces here and there that I thought might work. So I might use that. And I just have the puffy stickers from Pink Fresh. So I thought maybe the light blue trees that are left over, or the blue trees that are left over might work. And <clears throat> maybe there's something from the sticker sheet. I'm not sure. So I have those pulled and we will see where we end up in just a few minutes. Okay, so here is the day 30 all put together. I used that sweater weather sheet um, as a background, so I cut that out to match the size of the day 29 page. And I trimmed down my 6x8 photo slightly just to have a little bit of border on it. I couldn't use the full title with the um, uh, Hip Kit Club. Uh, letters, the J and the Y were so large they would have overlapped on top of the winter. And then when I came down here at the bottom, it would have overlapped the skyline. So I looked through my stash and I am doing really well on using these alphas up because look at all I have left. That is it. I am so impressed. Um, I'm not even sure if I can make too many words out of here yet. Well, maybe a couple. Um, <clears throat> So I combined the two letters and did the joy and walk in the glitter and then the winter out of the gold foiled or the gold look ones from, from the Hip Kit Club. On the opposite side I used the wood grain paper as the base and then I just extended it to six and a quarter 
pages, at, or six and a quarter inches. Um, as you can see here on the back, I just glued that on. Um, it, I probably could have used another um, half inch or so to get the whole 30 on, but I thought it would be kind of fun to have this overhang. So I lined this in such a way that when you flip it over on the other side, um, it looks like it's just a decorative item. So when I turn around and add my photo on this page, it will look something, you know, it'll look a little cleaner than this. It won't have this gap here. So it'll be probably a full size photo. So that's the 30. I did outline both of the photos just with like a really loose um, black outline. I just felt, especially on this photo, some of the photo is really quite light and it blended into the white or light background. I used some of the stickers from the Remarks, like I had, had intended the florals on either side to just kind of balance it off. And then I just did some really basic journaling to finish the pages. So that is it for day 30. Thank you so much for joining me and we'll see you for day 31 shortly.